So Ade, we have a, I, I think this is a slightly different theme for our Quest Wednesday next week in that it kind of looks very specifically around community and the externals and creating community. Very often our investigations are around what's going on within me. Um, and I was kind of curious to know what your first thoughts and ideas were around that theme. Yeah, I, th I think it, it does bring in that personal aspect. So it is community being the change I want to see. So there is that piece around, it's not just about community out there. It's also about, okay, how can I co-create that community? And I think that's really important because when I think back to when I came out, I had this image in my head of what the community looked like. It was going to be this place that I will go into, I will feel included, I will feel like I belong. It will be that long lost family that I never had and that I was yearning to have. And that wasn't what the reality was. And over the years, what's starting to dawn on me is I actually can play a part in actively creating community. So when I think of the Quest Wednesdays that we've been running now for over a year, when I think of the Quest you know, entity that we've been running for coming up to 10 years, I, I think of community actually. I think of that active participation and active creation. And that takes work, that takes vulnerability, that takes courage to do all of that rather than just sitting, hoping that it magically appears. You know, you've just reminded me, I'm, I just started a book which has just been published actually called Gay Bar, Why We Went Out. Ooh. And it's really, yeah, it's really interesting. The guy that has written it, he writes from his personal perspective and he talks about bars in America and he talks about bars in the scene in the UK. He talks about the role of Vauxhall Tavern. So places that I'm familiar with. And he talks about it from the experience of what is, what is the communal experience of that? What, what were our expectations and what was the reality? Um, but also where does it fit in society? So anyway, that was just reminding me of that book, but the other point that you said around agency, about the ability to co-create, I think is really important. And it was a, quite a few years ago, I realized I was in a, in a nightclub and I thought, you know, why doesn't anyone come up and ask me to dance? Or why doesn't any, anyone ask me if I want a drink? Or, and I thought, I looked around and I thought, we're all waiting for someone else to ask us for a dance. And I think that's also true when it comes to community very often that people think, well, Oh, you know, it's not like it used to be. Where is the, where is it? Blah, blah, blah. And people don't understand that they have the power to create that or to co-create that with other people. So I think that's, that's a big barrier to developing. The other thing, the other distinction I wanted to make was there's a big difference between what we need and what we want. Mm -hmm. And I think when I think of the quest very often, we base that on need based on data that we're showing mental health, issues and the prevalence of suicide and depression etc so there was obviously a need for it but did people want it and when we actually publicized the, the programs very often we weren't there wasn't an avalanche of people wanting to come in so very often what we need and what we want are two different things if we'd have set up a gay bar we would have made a lot of money and people would have piled in but is that necessarily what we need so i think there could be an interesting conversation between needs and wants and what's the difference yeah i love that i love that distinction and i'm looking forward to the conversation i think it's going to be a very rich and um, thought provoking one yeah me too looking forward to it